Hello friends and welcome back to She's in Your Apron. Today we're going to do some zone cleaning. Yep, you guys really liked the last zone cleaning video I did for you in August. So I'm gonna be sharing with you what I did in September in each of my zones. Our life gets crazy, right? My life gets crazy like yours. And you can either do 15 minutes in each zone a day, or I like to do is take an hour one day a week and crank out my zone um, for that week. So, or sometimes I do 15 minutes a day too. It just depends on what our crazy schedule looks like during the week. So. Today I am only doing the front porch. So another day you're gonna see me do more in zone one. So I'm gonna go sweep off my porch. I am going to wipe down the decorations and I'm going to wash the inside and outside of the window on my door. All right friends, come along with me this month as I zone clean. As you're gonna see through this video, I don't hit everything in my zones and that's okay because guess what, next month, the weeks are coming again, same zones are coming again, and we can hit those things then, or strive to hit them. It's not about perfection, it's not about being perfect, it's about your intention. I think I did pretty good this month with everything that was going on with the freezer meal series that I did, my daughter getting engaged, and I was hurrying and looking for places. It's been an adventure here, let me tell you. So in zone one is the hallways. So I am working upstairs and I am vacuuming, deep dusting, yeah, mainly deep dusting. This is a brand new build and new homes around us, so dusting this house seriously could be done on a daily basis. There's a lot of dust. And this is when I use my new vacuum. You guys will notice it's a Kirby. We invested in this. We wanted one of these for years and decided since we are renting this home that we were gonna get the best vacuum and knowing that we were getting everything clean. This is when I use my Kirby is in the zones when I do that really deep vacuuming once a month. We'll vacuum occasionally during the month, but this is like, this seriously sucks up the dirt. And I'm gonna use it on the stairs as well. This is when I also will grab a wet rag and start wiping down walls, railings, the new pulse, all of that. Oh my goodness, Paige absolutely loves that feather duster. She will follow us all over the house when we use it. And then I'm just gonna grab my Enviro wand from, this is from Norwex, and just get in all the crevices and the high places that I can't reach. And yes, the kids will do this when they work on their zones during the week, but this is my time to deep clean. I know it's actually getting done and getting done thoroughly. Have you guys already seen my Halloween house tour for 2019? If you haven't, I'll have a link below so you, I can tell you can see all the fun Halloween decorations. And uh, yeah, you'll enjoy this year. It was fun decorating the new home. Oh my goodness, this day I was so tired and so hot from doing this, but I did treat myself later. I got ready and went and had lunch with a friend. It was awesome. It was like my little reward after such a great job. <laughs> and yes, you still have to reward yourself. Even though you're a grown up and not a child, you still have to reward yourself for the work that you're doing. I think sometimes we are just so hard on ourselves. I think we don't give ourselves credit for all those little things that we do when in all they turn out to be really big things in our lives. Loving our home is a big deal. And next I'm going in and sucking up the dust and dirt in the, the tread of the door and then I'm gonna wipe it down with a cloth. All right, we're in zone two, which is the kitchen. There's a lot that goes on in the zone. You can declutter cupboards and cabinets and 
go through your pantry. There's so much to the zone. So today I'm wiping down my stove. And to get these really clean, I'm gonna use an oil. I learned that just, I don't know how long ago, but I was like, duh, because <laughs> they get dull. So I'm gonna get those nice and clean. I woke up, got the kids out the door, and then I was like, let's just get to the kitchen right now. I'll get changed later. I took you guys along with me. You're welcome. And I'm giving the cupboards a quick, quick clean um, with a rag, and I'm just finding all the spots that need to be picked up. These are white cupboards, and you have to stay up on them consistently. So during this week of zone two, I went grocery shopping, and before I could even put the groceries back in the refrigerator, I needed to declutter, create some space, and wipe up some ucky areas. So there are some things that I don't do every month in the same zone. For instance, in the kitchen. Last month, which I totally forgot to show you, sometimes when I'm editing, I forget to put things in, but last month I cleaned the inside of my oven and I used this Easy Off. It works so good. You don't need to turn the cleaning setting on your oven and get it all hot and like way too hot. It's awesome. So I ended up using this. I sprayed the inside of my oven and then went about doing the, the rest of the kitchen and then I came back and wiped it out. I do love though, my my favorite cleaner though to clean your oven is the Oven and Grill Cleaner from Norwex. I don't have my link anymore you guys, but it's norwex.biz. Get the Oven and Grill Cleaner. Seriously, you'll thank me. You will thank me. I do have an, a video on how you can use it. It's a few years old, I'll link it down below. So I didn't have to clean my oven this month because it's still looking really good. But you know I'm gonna be doing it next month because I'm gonna be getting my oven ready for the holidays starting in November and I want a clean oven. All right, what I'm gonna do here in this zone with the bathrooms is clean out my makeup um, divider bins, get those all cleaned, get it all sterile and all of that. I haven't done that since we moved in and I created this system, so I'm going to get that, um, get these bins in some hot soapy water. I got these rubber bins at um, Home Goods. This was part of our house haul. The cart I got from Michaels that holds all my makeup. And this has just been a wonderful system for me to organize my makeup. And these are so easy to clean. So easy. Just gonna put those in the other sink to rinse off. I like <laughs> this house where it has the double sinks. Oh my gosh, so nice. I feel so spoiled being here having this our home for a little while oh my word I tried to do this monthly it's been a little crazy so I haven't done this since we moved in the end of June so and it is the end of September so this needed it and this doesn't take long I think we think these easy tasks are gonna take long we just kind of like read it or at least I do but I know I'm not alone in this so it does not take long and yes you can when you're doing this own you could take a cleaning wipe and just wipe down the insides as well I've done that where it goes faster but since I haven't done this in a while I wanted to soak them and get them in the water Actually, I'm going to keep the soapy water with this rag because I'll use it to wipe down um, parts of the bathroom and the cupboards and stuff. So I'm just going to keep that there. Okay, I just lay down a towel so these could dry on. We're going to rinse them off and put them on here. I have things out on my counter because I'm going to go through and organize some of these drawers because they got a little bit out of control. So we're going to rinse these off first. So this is all the makeup that I'm using currently and now's a good time for me to go through and 
see if there's anything I could pitch. Um, I don't think so. I've been using everything so far, but I'm also going to wipe down the inside. There's like, some papers and things I just got in here. And so I'm gonna give this wipe down. And these are dry. These are dry now. And so I'm gonna put my makeup away and organize it again and make it look better. All right, got it all organized, cleaned out, feels so good. And now I have an extra bin. <laughs> I don't remember how it was before. So great, I'll use this somewhere else in organizing the home, but loving this, so feels good. I do wanna wash my brushes. I will make a note of that. I should do it right now, but um, no. <laughs> So this is what's happening underneath my sink. Not much has changed from when I moved in, if you guys remember me setting this up. So, I'm gonna go through this stuff again and maybe make this system, if I'm keeping it, better than what it is, right? I don't know. So, I'm gonna get in here, make some decisions, and just, it's, every time I open this cupboard, it gives me anxiety, it does not make me happy. So time to change it. Okay, went through. I did toss some things and move things into other bins in the hall closet. So is it 100% awesome? Nah. But I went through some stuff and I de-junked and it feels better. It could feel a whole lot better, but I don't know what else to do. So <sighs> I could do drawers. But I'm afraid I will forget about things in drawers and I've done that over in the past and I don't use things. This I can see, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. I love washing my face at night with these. Are you kidding me? I'll leave a link to these. This is um, from Posh the Apricots Overnight. Oh, it's a face mask that is so good. It gives you so, so much moisture. And then the pink one is, um, it's another face mask that's deep cleansing, and I love these. So if I put them in a drawer, guess what? I'm gonna forget about them. So I'm a definitely a visual person, so. All right, that is done, and I wiped the inside of the doors, this cupboard, wiped down um, all this. So that is good, yay. There were things I didn't hit, like the bedroom and a couple other spots, but you wanna know what? Today's October 1st and they're gonna be waiting for me, so. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this encouraged you to work in your zones, create a system for you. Like I said, 15 minutes a day or just take an hour one day of each week and crank out that zone, so. All right friends, thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon, bye.